The Lonesome Gods is a project we started working on really just for a little bit of fun actually in the winter between some other projects we were working on. Um, I've always been into country music right since the age of 15 I used to listen to country music on the American Forces radio. Uh, but musically everything that me and Ralph have done before on various, various projects has always been rock and blues orientated and then Ralph asked me some, what ideas I'd got for some songs. And uh, I kind of listened to Honky Tonk, Hank Williams, uh, Waylon Jennings, a lot of that type of stuff. Stuff that's kind of been uh, left aside really by modern country music. My ideas were for some more traditional sounding stuff. And then of course, Ralph probably not necessarily from a, a country background. So then he takes it with the, uh, more of a rock edge, blues edge. And it's worked, and it's driven, hopefully, driving country in a new direction. Well, my musical always, background has always been sort of playing rock guitar. If it's a guitar, rock guitar, as a, as a kid growing up at ACDC and Lear Skinner and all that sort of thing. Uh, and the guitar was always the driving force for, I suppose, that country rock sound. The older I got, the more I appreciated the acoustic guitars and then the mandolins and the cigar boxes and then the banjos and then the resonators and all of that. And they've become far more important to me than just standing there and playing the rock guitar really. As much as it irks me to say, uh, Ralph will take, I'll probably give him a, <laughs> the barest kind of idea. Yeah, working in the studio, Paul comes in, he'll say, oh, I've got a great idea for a song. Got a great idea. What do you got, Paul? Oh, I've got two lines. Oh, great, yeah, OK. So do you want me to finish it off? Yes, please, I'm going out. And in my head, it's probably leaning more towards a, a Hank Williams or a Mill Haggard song. And then I'll go home and then Ralph will phone me and he'll try and play me stuff down the phone. <laughs> and it just sounds like, what? OK, so he'll go out and then I'll sort of sit and noodle about and get the guitars out. And he'll give me the germ of an idea with which I can sort of then write. I can't. I don't start with, I rarely start with nothing. I work best if somebody gives, gives me the seed and it's like grow the seed and then we occasionally we discuss things, we'll come back in and we'll discuss it. And, and, and Ralph it really is good, especially, and I think that's the, the driving force with the Lonesome Gods. I'll bring an elemental, I want a traditional style and then Ralph can t take the idea and run with it and, and be a lot more creative without going down the bro country that we're seeing now and being bland he's adding to it and we are keeping the traditional mis m instruments uh, like the banjo and the mandolin and, and keeping a, a rootsy feel to it. And then we'll, we'll agree that I'm right and uh, this is when I'm right. And I'm going there to see my mother I'm going there no more to roam Cause I'm only going over Jordan And I'm only going over home It was probably when I was about eight or nine um, and I started, I started singing at a local talent show and I didn't win but that was my first proper big performance and then I went on to do little gang shows and being in the chorus in local musicals and things like that. My dad is very musical, yeah, he's he's always been the one that's sort of been like backing me, you know, wherever I go and things like that. I do listen to quite a bit of rock, but I'd say my biggest influence at the moment would probably be Ed Sheeran, simply because I want to, I want to be able to lyrically you know, do things the way that he does and be able to convey exactly the right emotion that he manages to be able to. It's been a really interesting experience actually trying, you know, doing country stuff because normally I tend to stick around the sort of folky singer-songwriter sort of song. So it's been a real, it's been a really nice experience, you know, learning about the different genre. Doing the Lonesome Gods album was a treat because it meant that 
on every track, you've, you've got acoustic guitars, mandolins, banjos, a bit of cigar box, a bit of resonator, a bit of electric guitar, and it's pretty much everything that I've learned to play goes into every song. And that's, and that, and that's why it was such a joy, really, and it's a, a huge depth of sound with what's going on there. Um, and the detail in the sound, there's always something to listen to every time. It's not a repetitive listening experience. There's always something you think, I didn't hear that last time I played it. The name The Lonesome Gods came, uh, we was just literally trying to think of a, of a name that we, we were going through a load of names that sounded countryfied. And I came up with The Lonesome Gods uh, and then Googled it to make sure there wasn't another band out there called The Lonesome Gods. And uh, lo and behold, it's a, a Louis L'Amour uh, novel. Uh, who kind of writes more romanticised uh, westerns, and I wasn't always a fan of Louis L'Amour, I was more George G. Gilman, Steele and the Edge novels, um, which probably also reflects in our music as well, we probably go for a harder edge gritty thing, but just the fact that there was already uh, a Louis L'Amour book out there, and, and it just kind of, it, it kind of just fitted really, so that was it, the, the Lonesome Gods it was. The darker, the darker side of country, the grittier side of it, the more alternative side of it, is more appealing. Because I think that I think country was always about being earthy and rootsy. At its core, its essence, that's what it was about. It wasn't. It wasn't about. Okay, I, you know, you've got the you've got the regular cliches about I'm getting in my truck and I'm picking up my girl and I'm going to the dance. And, uh, but the best country stuff has a much darker edge. It's raw. It's and it's from a it's from a tough place. It's from a hard place. You know, it's, out, it's from the dust bowls of America, it's from the Midwest, it's, it's, from, it's, it's from a place where life was hard. Country now has gone soft, the content has gone soft. It's become watered down to make it popular for lots and lots and lots of people, but it's lost its edge. And music doesn't have to lose its edge, it has to be true to itself. And if you go and investigate what's really going on in the world and reflect that in music, it doesn't matter whether it's country music or rock music or pop music or whatever. Life has an edge, so why not reflect it? <laughs>